Nobody asked. Nobody asked. Nobody asked. Nobody asked for your opinion. Nobody asked. Nobody asked for your opinion. Random people you'll find in friend groups. One. The boring one who will become an average member of society. Two. The quiet one who isn't quite sure how they ended up there. Three. The two who are clearly way better friends than everyone else. Four. The obnoxious one who does wild and weird things no suburban teen could ever dream of, such as jumping on and licking things. Five. The 50-50 friend who will either be the life of the party or say something extremely cringy. Six. The funny one someone should probably check up on. And seven. F***ing Dylan. Random people you'll find in friend groups. One. The reckless one who will take every opportunity to endanger something or themselves. Two. The clumsy one. Same as reckless, just unintentionally. Three. The smart one, mocked for their intelligence until it becomes relevant to an activity. Four. The floater who drops in and out of friend groups like an estranged lover. Five. The recluse who you can physically see dying the longer they're around. Six. The naive who will laugh along at jokes they have no chance of understanding. And seven. A generic man whose name starts with J or somebody who embodies the name Emily. Random people you'll find in friend groups. One. The mama bear who's very judgmental of all the bad decisions the rest of the group makes, but is still very protective of her dumb friends. Two. The Disney princess companion who accompanies the popular one of the group in order to make exclusively sassy comments. Three. Trent Crim, the independent who will never be the first person to initiate a conversation because they're too busy living their best life. Four. The dumpster diver who has trash taste in dating, etc., but gets away with it because they ride that line between looking cute but also kind of depressed. And five. The good friend, the type who will remember your birthday. I'm sorry I forgot. And then there's James.